to your favorite NBA team? Favorite NBA team is the Warriors. Like I said, I'm uh, from San Francisco, so hometown team is the Warriors. First NBA game I went to was a Warrior game. So yeah, man, they, they've been my team uh, since I was young. You can shoot very well. So now, now what helps you to be deadly at the three-point line? I think just always, just coming in here every day and always putting in the work, you know, getting my reps in and just making sure I, I make the least mistakes every day to improve on my shooting uh, really helps me out. And also just my competitive nature. I want to be the best at what I do. So coming in here and working on my craft is, I don't take it as a job. I, I just take it as like, you know, I'm doing what I love and it's, uh, it's something that I'm blessed to be doing. What are the biggest odds or struggles that held you back? I don't know if I had any odds or struggles that held me back because I truly believe that you are uh, in control of your own future, no matter the circumstances. But I think one of the hardest things that I had to get over was leaving my family to come out here and, and pursue, you know, this dream I had. Living in the Bay Area my whole life and then coming to uh, uh, the Philippines, which I didn't know. I literally booked a, a one-way ticket to the Philippines, never visited, for my first time here to see the poverty, not know where I am. It was a huge culture shock. So I think that was the biggest setback I had, was just trying to get over the homesickness, the culture shock, you know, not really knowing where I'm going. I think that was the biggest thing I had to get over. What did you do to get through it all? I just kept on reminding myself why I was out here, what the main goal was. So that really helped me out to just stay focused and not really worry about can I survive or uh, oh man, I'm homesick, I miss my family, friends. That kind of just kept me focused on what I was doing and just gave me a chance to hone my craft and perfect it. How would you describe Kobe Bryant in three words, whether it's related to basketball or life? Uh, hero, inspiration. I would use father because I think he's, he was a great father. And it's uh, kind of the father I would like to be to my, to my kids. Being signed by Titan, what was it like to be with um, a shoe company like that? Oh, it was super cool. You know, as a kid, you see all your favorite basketball players with shoe deals. And, you know, when I signed with Titan, it was kind of like a shoe deal because, you know, you get you know, some shoes a month and gear. So it was super cool to experience that for the man uh, how many years I was with Titan. Super blessed to be a part of that. Thank you to them for, you know, letting me, letting me be a part of that and giving me that opportunity. What is your advice for young, for anyone? who wants to pursue their passions and dreams? My advice to anyone that wants to pursue their passions and dreams is to never let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Um, I had so many people tell me that I would never be a basketball player, I'm too short, you know, I won't be able to survive out here in the Philippines, but didn't, I didn't let that affect, you know, my future. I didn't let that affect, you know, how I went about things and, you know, I feel like that's a big, big part is uh, the mental state of things. Yes, the physical state is a huge part as well, but that's something, you know, we can control on the daily. I think we, uh, as humans, forget a lot about, like, our mental state. And I feel like that's one of the biggest parts of, you know, trying to achieve your goals is what's your mental like. How do you know how to express yourself on the court when you're playing actual games? Well, I think it happens in practice first. I try to take practice um, as if it was the game. So when it comes to the game, it's just second nature. It's, I feel like it's a lot easier because I've been through so many reps in practice that uh, it just becomes second nature when it comes to the game. And also just, you know, just trying to be myself out there. You know, I'm a very emotional person, so if I feel something, I think my facial expressions uh, show it on the court. And I, you know, it's, works in my favor because it gives me energy and I kind of feed off that. So, yeah, those are the two factors that help me, um, you know, express myself during games. So, for the final question of the day, 
What is your favorite shoe? Okay, so if I would have to pick a favorite shoe to hoop in? Anything, just any type of shoe. So to hoop in, it would be the Kobe 4s, which I'm wearing right now, right there. RIP GG, RIP Kobe. And then I would have to say overall, Jordan 11 Concords. Those are my favorite. Jordan 11 Concords? Jordan 11 Concords. I just got the Range Road with some 4Gs. Sipping, sipping, feeling, feeling, feeling like a dope fan. He say I'm not a killer, that nigga don't know me. My OG told me put in work when I was 14. Going down, I never grow up.